Hi nursery, it's Miss Wright and this week our story is A Squash and a Squeeze and the old lady from A Squash and a Squeeze needs our help because she's got lots of animals in her house and she needs help to find a container that will hold the most food to feed them and for t their tea today they're having pasta. So we're going to find a container that will hold the most food. So which one is going to hold more? But before we get started, we're going to estimate how many scoops of food the container will hold. And estimate means we'll have a look and we're going to guess without trying. Oh, so let's have a look at my cup my, to scoop my food with. And we're going to start with my tub. So I've written my tub here. T-U-B. Tub. And I'm going to estimate how many cups of food will fit in my tub. So I think I can fit... Hmm, three cups in my tub. That's my estimation, that's my guess. So underneath tub, I'm going to write three. Now, I have estimated, but now it's time to find out how many cups will fit inside. So let's have a look. Can you count with me? One, two, three. Is my tub full? It is. And my estimation was correct because I guessed three and three cups of food fit inside. So we can fit three cups of food in the tub. Let's pop the food back in and let's see if we can try another container. So my tub held three cups and next I'm going to try my Ah, mm, pan. Now, I'm going to estimate, I'm going to guess how many cups of food will fit in my pan. Mm, I think four cups. So I'm going to write four underneath my pan. So I think my pan will hold four cups of food. Shall we find out? Count with me, ready? One, two, three, four, five, Let's have a look at if Miss Wright's estim estimation was correct. I guessed four. <gasps> but actually, we could fit six cups. So I'm going to put a little cross by my four to say that was the wrong answer. And I'm going to put a six instead. <gasps> so we could fit six cups of food in the pan. Oh, let me see. So if the pan could hold six cups and the tub could hold three cups of food, which one can hold more food? And that's tricky. Six and three, which is the bigger number? Which one's bigger? You're right, the number six is bigger. So the pan could hold more food 
and the tub could hold less food. Let's see if we can try another container. I've got here a pot. Let's see if I can sound out pot with my Fred talk. P -o -t. P-O-T. So I'm going to write P-O-T on my paper. P-O-T. Let's Fred talk it together. Pot. How many cups of food is my pot going to hold? I'm going to estimate. I think, oh, this one's quite small, so I think this will hold two cups. Shall we find out? Let's count together. One. Two. Oh, and one bit's fallen out. It's filled to the top. How many cups? You're right. One, two cups. So underneath pot, I'm going to put two. Oh my goodness. Only two cups of food. Now, let's see if we can find out which one held the most, which one held more food. Oh, so the tub could hold three cups and the pot could hold two cups. <gasps> so which one can hold more? Which one is the bigger number? Is it two or three? You're right, the big number is three, which means that the tub could hold more food. <gasps> but remember, the pan could hold six cups of food and the tub could only hold three. So which one can hold more? <gasps> You're right. The pan can hold more. Oh, so I think we've given the old lady lots of help. I think the old lady needs to use the pan to feed her animals. Well done, you've done such a good job. Perhaps you can have a try at home now at finding some different containers and use a cup to see how many cups of food your container will hold. As a Charlie challenge, see if you can estimate how many cups it will hold before you try. Okay, everybody, I hope you've had lots of fun and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.